Hey everybody, I'm Delicia here, stopping in for my weekly top five cigar lineup. So these are the cigars that are coming out of my humidor and hopefully they're making their way into your humidors or your hands for your week of smoking. So four out of five of the cigars this week came from my stogiebird.com shipment a while ago. And I'm very excited to be uh, talking about these cigars with you and then smoking them this week. So be sure you post your pictures on Instagram if you care to join me. If you have some of these cigars in your humidor, bring them out, smoke them for the week. So starting with number five, we have the beautiful uh, and lots of fun. This is the Island Gym, the San Andres. So this one is featuring a beautiful little San Andres wrapper and then it's under and binder and filler on this one. So it's a fun little shape. It has that shaggy foot, has a semi torpedo kind of a, a deal going on with it. This one gives you um, very straightforward cocoa spice, a little bit of earthiness. It's a, it's a nice cigar, good price point to it. And again, coming out of the Island Gym collection, it's a lot of fun. Um, if you're not familiar with him, I invite you to check him out. Um, he's just done a lot, you know, overall done, does a lot of fun collaborations. Um, we'll get to another one of his cigars here in a minute, but um, definitely want to be sure you check out, you know, some of his cigars that he has going on. This one did come in my stogiebird.com shipment. Moving along to number four this week, we have the beautiful Southern Draw. This is the Cedrus. So this one's supposed to be kind of like the most complex in flavor out of the lineup apparently. I don't know if that was something I was reading about. Um, it is complex, it is a fuller body stick, it does have a lot of good flavor, but so do a lot of their lineup um, actually. So I, I definitely am a fan of pretty much all of the Southern Draw line. I've yet to smoke one that I didn't like. They're made out at AJ's factory. Um, they're just a, a great lineup of a variety of cigars. So this week I have the Cedrus on the lineup. It's a beautiful little torpedo. It does come in some different Vitolas. Um, but this one taking a closer look is featuring a Basuki. So it's an Indonesian and Sumatra wrapper. And then you have a Honduran Habano binder and then Nicaraguan and Dominican on the filler, a mixture of different regions of Nicaragua and Dominican on the filler itself. So this one's going to give you the orange citrus, a little bit of cedar, a little bit of pepper, um, some different kind of notations, some of the others here on the lineup. So, but definitely a cigar that you want to try out. Um, you should be able to find these regularly, I'm assuming, um, throughout your brick and mortar. This one did not come in that shipment that I mentioned. Um, I just had this one on hand. And again, it's a really good stick. So moving along to number three, we have the Leaf by Oscar Corojo in a Lancero. This one does come in um, several different Batolas, so don't worry if you're not a Lancero person. Uh, you can find this in you know, some, some other Batolas, but um, same great taste. Again, this outer tobacco leaf is a decorative protective sleeve similar to like a cellophane, so you don't actually smoke this. I know that's a question that is floating around out there sometimes when you see these in the humidor. Um, again, Leaf by Oscar. A collaboration with Island Gym and Oscar Valladares. Bayad um, I forget. I'm so sorry. I forgot the last name. But, um, but he's out of Honduras, making some great stuff. Um, wonderful flavor. Great lineup again on his whole Leaf by Oscar line. There's a Corojo. There's a Maduro. There's a Connecticut. There's another one that I'm missing, but definitely um, a big fan of the Corojo. Lots of flavor there. So taking a closer look, this one has. Um, of course, that nice flavorful Corojo wrapper, Honduran binder, and filler. This one gives you like the cashew nuts, the peppers, earthy, cedar, all those nice notes on there. About a medium body or so, not too strong, um, but definitely providing some great flavor. Moving along to number two, this is the 724. Um, this one I've actually done a full review on back a while ago, actually. Um, in the Lancero format, which I love. I don't have any more of the Lancero, sadly. I have um, this guy right here, which is still a great stick, by the way. Um, the Lancero is just, of course, a preference of mine, but um, the overall flavor profile, oh, there goes my ash. The overall flavor profile for this one is beautiful. Um, it's very flavorful. Love the name, love the history behind the whole deal. Again, I invite you to check out my full review that I've done on this one for a little bit more details on the name, but the 724, taking a closer look, it has a Brazilian Matafina wrapper, Costa Rican binder, um, Nicaraguan, Mexican, Honduran on the filler. This one gives you like the, the nice vanilla 
cinnamon, kind of a baker's spice in there. Um, you do pick up a little bit of coffee bean and almond, so it's a nice, nice amount of flavor, um, different flavors that go um, throughout your entire smoke. So definitely one that you wanna try out. And then that brings me to number one. This is a little flavor power bomb right here. So this is the um, Todos Las Dias. This is a purposely um, written that way. So it's obviously, if you speak Spanish, you know it's supposed to be Todos Los Dias. There's a whole story behind that. Uh, Steve Saka blended this one. Um, it's a great stick as well. I, again, he's another one that I've yet to smoke one of his cigars that I don't like. He's been in the industry forever, a wealth of knowledge, um, used to blend for Drew Estate. You guys have all smoked the Ligas, that's his baby. But then he went off on his own and now he's producing some incredible cigars. Sobre Mesa, mi querida, you guys have seen them on my lineup several times. I don't know that I've had this one a lot. I think I may have had it once or twice before, but it's been a little while. So the Todos Las Dias is, a, as I mentioned, it's a power bomb, lots of flavor. You're gonna get a lot of strength to it. So it's definitely not a, a newbie cigar. So if you're brand new to smoking, you're gonna wanna work your way up to this one. Don't put it completely off limits. Um, definitely try it, have a little bit in your stomach beforehand. It's not gonna like knock you over or anything. It just has a lot more flavor and a lot more power to it, but it's a great stick. Um, Again, giving you a little breakdown. It is a Nicaraguan, but it's a Cuban seed and sun-grown wrapper, and then Nicaraguan binder and filler, white pepper, a uh, little bit of like a red chili pepper on there, cocoa, anise, cedar, dark chocolate. You get a lot of different flavors as you go throughout that cigar, but definitely one that you wanna get your hands on and enjoy. So hopefully you guys have either tried some of these, plan on trying them, have received some in some shipments that you have if you're members of the Stogie Bird. Um, just, I'd love to hear the feedback from all of you watching. And I do appreciate you taking a little bit of time on your Sunday to spend with me. And again, welcome the feedback. So thanks so much and I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.